So I'm going to go through the pursuit saccades and combination saccades and pursuit exercises in the new focus builder. We completely redesigned the application and improved it significantly by adding a lot more customizability. So first let's take a look at pursuits. When you go to settings you can see that you can change very easily the direction of movement of the pursuit by selecting the arrow that's desired. So in this case I'm going to go ahead and just select the um, direction to the left so the movement will go from right to left. The target type is another improvement here that we've, we've added where you have the choice to select this simple dot which is what the previous Focus Builder app had or a dot with a center black dot within it and that would look like this or a target or a target with the crosshairs and which is really our, our favorite one it's much easier to maintain focus on with the crosshairs within the dot random use a, a, one of your own images so you can actually upload an image in this case here if you press choose you can select uh, an image to upload and I'm just gonna pick uh, one of my favorite pictures there we go and we can also select the color so in this case with the image the color will not apply but if I pick the target and I want to change the color I could change the color to purple if I if I like purple or if purple has a better effect on my patient and we can change the size so I'm gonna leave it on the largest size for now and I'm actually gonna change the target to sports set and you can also change the speed of the pursuit so in this case let's uh, well let's let's make it about a six and you can turn sinusoidal on or off which basically means that the, the um, movement will reverse so it'll go from the initial position that you select to the end position and then it'll go back and forth but let's just keep that off for now repetitions can be continuous or one all the way up to a hundred and those are your your options so let's just keep it on continuous for now and then initial pause. So the initial pause gives you the option to decide how long you want the target to hold its position before it starts moving. No pause obviously will start right away which is how the previous Focus Builder app was. Um, it's really nice to have built in the timer or even you can you can choose to do tap and tap basically means that the movement will not begin until you tap the screen. So I'm gonna just uh, keep it at two, less than three seconds for now. And the cool thing about this is that if you wanted your patient to do a gaze stability exercise before the movement, this gives you the time to do that. And then uh, the final pause, so at the end of the, mo the motion, how long do you want your, your target to remain? So we'll just make that a no pause. So that way you get to see the effect of no pause and, and a pause initially. So the start position, so in, see in this case, I'm going from right to left. So start position's at zero, which is dead center in the screen. End position is four, which is all the way to the right. See the positive numbers are on the right side of the screen and the negative numbers are on the left side of the screen. So if I want my my dot to move from right to left from one end of the screen so the, the right edge of the screen to the left edge of the screen well start position would have to be 4 and end position would have to be negative 4 so let's make the start position a 4 and the end position a negative 4 and let's hit start So it paused for three seconds and no pause at the end of the movement. And for each pursuit, 
you're going to get a different target from the sport set. There's nine different images in the sport set. Okay, so in the video you may notice that the smoothness of movement is not perfectly smooth. Uh, I promise you that on the application it is very, very smooth. It's just because of the transmission of my, uh, my app, uh, my iPad to the computer it loses some of the smooth effect. So let's hit done here just to stop that exercise. And um, I just want to show you if I modify some of the settings how how it will change. So obviously we can make it move from bottom right to top left. And uh, I'm just going to change the, the set to monster set. And I'm going to just make it to the smallest so that way you get to see the extreme difference and the different sizes. Now this time the start position I'm going to make a zero so that way it will start right in the center of the screen and the initial pause I'm going to I'm going to select tap. So that way it's not going to start until I tap the screen and at the end of the movement I'm just going to make it hold for for two seconds. And that's what that looks like. Press start it's right in the center. I tap the screen and it moves all the way up. Hold for two seconds, back down, and it won't start moving until I tap the screen again. Now, for the monster set and the sports set, I find that the larger sizes are better. Um, let's see here, sizes. This is not the largest, this is second largest. And so you will see that as it moves across here, it won't start up again until I tap the screen. Okay. So now let's go to Saccades. So uh, under Saccades, it's really the same principle except that instead of having a pursuit motion you're going to have a psychotic motion. So let's uh, select the crosshairs since uh, that is the typical favorite. You can change the background color if you'd like. So just for change sake let's make it brown. Brown's actually a little softer and not as, as bright as some of the other colors and our target color will keep red. Let's make a direction of movement here that moves up and to the right. The size, let's make it a medium size. Amplitude of movement. So the amplitude of movement means that's, that's how many movements will be between your start and end position. So if I want just one motion or one movement or one saccade, you select one. Let's just select. Uh, let's select three. The interval time. So that's how much time there will be before the next saccade or the next micro saccade. And let's leave that at one second. You have options all the way up to sixty, and then random. Actually, let's let's go ahead and pick random here. So each hold time will be different. And, and they're randomized. The repetitions can also be like the pursuit can be continuous and all the way up to a hundred so let's just keep it let's just make it two for now. We find that repetitions are better than than the timer. We pre previously had a timer on instead of a repetition option. Initial pause uh, let's uh, let's make that initial pause let's make it no pause so it'll start right away and that's not a feature that I often use I much prefer to have it hold before we start um, but I just want to uh, do this for demonstration purposes usually a good two second hold two to three second hold is good because it gives the patient the time to turn it on and then to start the exercise Start position, 
So in this case, we're going left to right. Okay, so if I select negative 3, and let's say I want my end position to be 0, it'll move a very small range. And stimulus, your options are overlap and express. So express saccade is basically when your target disappears and in this case we've got it set so that it'll disappear for a hundred milliseconds and then the next target will reappear. So let's hit done and start and in the case of an express saccade it is much easier for most patients to, to saccade with an express stimulus versus an overlap stimulus. So if I were to change this to overlap and start, you see that your next your previous target remains There we go. And it's randomized. So we can stretch that exercise all the way across the screen. I just um, decided to select those start and end position for demonstration purposes. But let's, uh, let's make that a negative 4 to 4. And here, you see that it'll, it'll move three times. Actually, let's increase um, the amplitude. to seven. Okay, so it's going to be seven movements from bottom left to top right. Okay. Now, when you go to the combination saccades and pursuits, it's really the exact same principle here. All the features are the same, and the main difference here is at the bottom, you can choose whether the initial movement is a saccade or a pursuit. So we'll leave it as a saccade. And the return movement a pursuit. But if you wanted to, you could make it, you could switch it around so that the initial is a pursuit and the return is a saccade. But let's make it a saccade initially. Uh, in this particular exercise, you cannot make it a saccade on the way in one direction and then a saccade to return. Uh, you can do that in the custom exercise but not in the combination saccades and pursuit. You're always going to have a saccade in one direction and pursuit in the opposite direction. So here we can change the pursuit speed, the end position let's just say 0, start position negative 4. So in this case we're going to be going from left to right. Um, if I decided to change the direction let's say to from right to left or if I wanted to do a um, Carrick brain exercise, which is a diagonal movement, bottom right to top left, then I would need to make sure that I would change the initial or start position to a 4 and end position to a negative 4. No pause, no pause. We'll leave it at no pause just for demonstration purposes. And time interval is one second, so with an amplitude of movement of five, there'll be one second between each movement. And let's use our favorite crosshairs target. And here we go. Perfect. And this is how you use the combination saccades and pursuits within the new focus builder exercise, the pursuits and the saccades.
I hope this was helpful to you.